Hello everyone, in this video we're going to discuss how to set up conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now first I have already set up some data. This data covers a period of eight days for a few agents in a call center. In a call center, a common metric that agents are evaluated on is their call resolution time or average call handling time. The times that are listed here are listed in seconds and it's the average of their call resolution time for that day. Now the very first thing that we're going to want to do is highlight the data that we want to apply the conditional formatting to. Conditional formatting helps us highlight a specific number or maybe a certain value that we are looking for. In this case we want and we're going to want to set up conditional formatting to highlight anybody that's above the 400 second goal in this line of business. So let's go on and highlight the data we're going to do the conditional formatting to. Now there's many ways we can set up the conditional formatting. You have the highlight cell rules, top bottom rules. My personal preference is the old fashioned way, which is what I consider for Microsoft Excel 2003 and before. You would go to um, your rules. In this case, I'm gonna do a new rule here. The option that I'm going to select is format only cells that contain, and you can do cell value, specific text, dates occurring, blanks, and, and so on. But I'm gonna do a cell value that is greater than now there's two ways you can do this you can either one type in the, the goal manually or you can do your cell selection and select the cell that you'll be reviewing in this case we'll go on and do that this cell d9 close this out and of course we want to do a format so right now there's no format set let's go on and select format and the way i personally would want to format it is first fill the box red because what we're going to be doing is highlighting anybody that's not achieving the goal. The font make it bold and the color will go on and make it yellow. Once you make your selection go on and select OK. And now you have a preview as to what the cell will look like. Go on and hit OK. And just like that the conditional formatting has been applied to the range that we have selected. Now, in case the goal was to change, let's just say there is now a more aggressive goal of 300 and, uh, let's say 390 seconds, simply change the cell that you apply the rule to, and it's going to change it to 390, and now we have a few more people in red because anybody that's greater than this value, 390 seconds, will be highlighted with the conditional formatting. Now, in case you want to change your ruling again, go on and highlight these cells that have the conditional formatting set up, hit the conditional formatting button, and go on and go to your manage rules. Under in this window, you're going to have all your all of your conditional formatting options that you have set up for these cells, and you can easily select it. You can do edit rule, delete rule, and of course create more rules. That concludes this portion of the conditional formatting video. Hope you enjoyed it, and thank you for watching.